Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew. Welcome, glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility, use cases, and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right down here at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. Cryptocurrency is high risk. I always talk to a financial advisor that's unique to your situation. Super exciting news. Uh, the flare drop number one has arrived. It arrived yesterday. I got mine. Today we're going to talk about what we got. We're going to talk about how you can go ahead and get it if you haven't figured out how to claim yours, at least on a Bifrost wallet. I'll go over that. Some people I noticed in uh, some of my viewers post comments that they haven't been able to find there. So I'll tell you what I had to do. I actually had to do a couple extra steps and, uh, and I bought more yesterday too. So, uh, that was exciting because I was so happy with the airdrop. Really great. So for those of you who are new to flare, you don't know about flare networks, basically flare networks is a layer one blockchain for building applications that use decentralized data from other chains and the internet. What we're really talking about here is a decentralized Oracle solution. The Oracles out there in existence right now are somewhat centralized and Flare has found it, figured out a way to decentralize it so you can receive decentralized Web 2 and Web 3 data, price feeds, for example, whatever you can think of, in, and use that in your dApps, in your decentralized apps that you build to hopefully solve problems for Bit, you know, maybe you're solving business problems. Maybe you're building a great DeFi protocol. Maybe you're decentralizing something in your app that's not that's too centralized right now. Sky's the limit. These are the problems Flare solves. You can find all that on the Flare.network. Highly recommend checking it out and doing your research on this this blockchain if you're new to it. And yeah, so for those of you who received your airdrop, you were probably super excited like I was. In fact, I was so excited I had to buy more Flair. It looks like others did as well. I put out this tweet yesterday when I purchased, uh, and I quote, myself, couldn't resist, bought more Flair. And then I got some pretty good responses on here. I love this one. <laughs> By, I must be new, LOL. I don't even want to tell you what I did. I have a feeling he might have backed up the truck there and filled up some bags. Um, this one from at Oleg underscore, triple underscore UA. What did you do with it? Or what do you plan to do with it? Uh, I wrapped and delegated right away. I bought, I bought mine on Uphold. I transferred it to Bifrost. I instantly wrapped it. I instantly delegated it. And that will affect how much I receive for airdrop number two in a month from now. We're all hoping it'll be around the same, maybe higher, could be lower. There are a lot of variables involved. At the end of the day, I'm grateful for any of it. And related to uh, actually buying right now, we'll, we'll go over like uh, how this looks in terms of dollar cost averaging when you, like when I bought yesterday, how it totally lowers my dollar cost average price compared to what the current price is. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a good one here, no brainer from at KSW54548. This one from Ludd. This is great here. Oh, I'm gonna just get one thing. Yeah, I know. I actually wasn't gonna buy Flare yesterday, but I, yeah, it just, it happened. It happened. Usually I only buy on down days when there's blood in the streets, if you will, sort of like Warren Buffett's old saying, you want to be fearful when people are greedy and greedy when people are fearful. And yesterday the markets were pumping. Bitcoin is doing really well. It's funny, uh, XRP was my biggest holding and now with Bitcoin moving up, it's definitely it's now my biggest in terms of USD terms. It's been a while since Bitcoin's been there because I invested more in XRP. I've been, you know, I started scooping that up a long time ago, but Bitcoin's yeah, now my biggest holding and I'm not planning on rebalancing that right now. I'm I'm happy I have some Bitcoin and uh, you know, just for diversification purposes. But anyways, back to this. Uh, this one by X at XRP Mantra. Waiting for my paycheck. Flare is my savings account. Free money? Is you kidding me? I don't say no to that. <laughs> Flare is my savings account. 
That's uh, so Flare is not my savings account. I like to diversify, but Flare is a great um, for me speculative asset. And it's a it's a network that I would like to build on, and it's a network I like to deploy capital to as well in terms of delegating, because I believe in the future it will be a it, it has the potential to be a a solid source solid source of just simple crypto passive income. Not only that, I'm a developer. I love to build things and in it in it to win it. But you know, it's not my savings account. Uh, that's a gutsy move, XRP mantra. Hats off to you. Uh, and I quote, can you still wrap them and get the airdrops? Yes, you can. Keep it coming, keep wrapping. You would still get some based on the snapshots that happened during the month. Uh, good man, yes, thank you, Benjamin Scott at crypto underscore nutcase. Uh, yeah, this one from at one piece XRP. The first monthly drop was a lot larger than I expected. Quite happy with it myself. Yeah, me too. And so let's get into that. So the first monthly airdrop came into roughly 20% of what you had, 20% on top of what you had received for your first airdrop. So for example, if you had roughly, let's use a random number, say 17,000-ish uh, flare tokens from your first airdrop, uh, you roughly... You got roughly about 3,500 more. I believe that's around 20%. I could be a little off there, but I think you get the idea. You, and so now you're over, now you're over 20,000 tokens just for, for free, basically. And so that was super exciting, 20%. Like I said earlier, I'm not, we're not expecting that every month. Next month could be lower. Some are saying it's going to be even a lot higher next month. I don't know. I don't know about that, but it could be, could be. But uh, so, and then I, I felt like, yeah, I got to buy. There's more comments here, but let's get right into it. I bought, and uh, this, this made me think of, oh yeah, some people might not even know what dollar cost averaging is. I know a lot of you do, but basically uh, it lets you know your cost per token over a period of time. And right now this is a very short period of time. You could just do what's my cost per token ever since the first airdrop and then this second distribution. And so for the first airdrop, you got for free. So basically, how much USD you invested, if you're using USD, you could just substitute your, your fiat of your uh, country of origin. I put this at this is the lowest amount possible. And, and I've used 20,000. Let's say you were airdropped initially 20,000. Uh, Flare, your very first one, uh, not, the, not this one that happened yesterday, but your first initial 15%. And so that'll give you a dollar cost average of basically zero because you basically put zero in, you got 20,000 for free, and now you have, you've paid zero for them. You know, you'll just have to pay your taxes and all that when you cash out or however you're handling taxes, that's, you know, you just between you and your tax guy. But now let's say you want to buy another, the price is at three cents and you want to buy another $800 worth. So you change your USD to $800. And at three cents, what would $800 get you? You can just do the math here. So 800, whoops, we got 800 divided by 0 0.03. We'll get you around 26 more thousand, 666. So now you'd have 46,000, 46,666 flare tokens for $800. And look at that. The price of Flare is going for three cents, but you're in at uh, 1.7 cents because of these airdrops. So the power of dollar cost averaging, just a simple example, if you don't know, all you're doing is you're dividing your total amount of USD invested by the total amount of Flare you own. And that's what this formula is right here. As you can see, A2, which is A2, this cell, divided by B2, this cell, which gives you 1.7 cents per token is what you paid. So basically, Flare can crash down to 1.7 cents, which it might, and you'll still be a break even. And you have this many tokens in here wrapped for, for, your, you know, for your next airdrop distribution, which will be a month from the 15th. And there's a schedule on it you can pull up on the Flare website as well if you want to see the exact dates. Uh, I think this was in, let's see, I found it under Flare News. Um, what do we got here? Here it is right here, Flare Drop Guide. Click on Flare Drop Guide, and here's a nice schedule. So you can see this, is, this was on the 17th, which was uh, Saturday. This video is coming out probably on Monday, so this is two days after the Flare Drop. The next one will be April 16th. And, yeah, so I bought a little more, and 
that will reflect. These numbers here are not my numbers. They're just, you know, random numbers that I thought I'd put out there. I didn't know what else to think of. And yeah, hopefully you are as excited about I am. So now how do you get this thing? Just ones, you know, most people probably, I think on Bifrost, were able to figure it out. I actually had to do a couple extra steps. Well, maybe one extra step, really. And I was going to do a, a mobile to screenshot demo, but my my I use Let's View, and that seems to not work now. I think it's related to this computer that I had to have rebuilt, and it's also probably tied into my webcam issues, which I'll be fixing this week. But I was able to find some screenshot images of Bifrost. So if you cannot find your AirDrop in Bifrost, the first thing you want to do is on your phone, go over to the app section. If you're using Android, I'm not sure how it would work on a on an iPhone, but just go over to the apps section and update it. You got to update the app to the latest version. When I first open, opened my Bifrost wallet on my mobile phone, I could not see the flare drop. And that is because I was one version behind. But after I manually updated it, updated it, I was able to find and see the flare drop on March 17th. So where would you find the flare drop after you've updated it? So basically, here is a screenshot of a Bifrost wallet. This is on the Bifrost website. And so you go here and then click into either Flare or Wrapped Flare. I think either one will work there. And then after you do that, you could probably, I, I clicked on the Delegate page, but you could also probably get to it. I don't know if you can get to it from the Wrapped page, but you can get to it here from the Delegate page. So click Delegate. And then you will end up on this delegation detail page where you can see stats like vote power, how much you have delegated, things like that. This page is this this delegate detail page is more detailed now than this screenshot because Bifrost has implemented a number of improvements, enhancements, so you have a lot more data. But if you scroll down, you see things like vote power. Um, you know, amount allocated and where you can see your delegations, you're on the right track. You just keep scrolling down lower to the bottom and then you will see your flare drop amount. And that's where you can, that's where you're good to go. There's where the money is. This is fantastic news for a number of reasons. One, we're getting, you know, we're getting this, 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 this additional flare on top of whatever we purchase. And then we can use this to put back into the system. If you're like me, that's what I'm doing. And the fact that we're getting these on in on time now, it says a lot of things. It says, well, a lot of the uh, you know software hiccups and, and, and clunkers that happen in all software projects are, are being worked out on Flare. Things are starting to run smoothly. Things are starting to happen on time. Trust is growing. Trust is being built. And when you have trust being built, people are going to start to take notice of this thing. People are going to buy on days you receive an airdrop. Normally, I would say most people would sell during an airdrop receive when, upon receival of an airdrop. That's that's the normal. That feels like on a probability uh, when when using probabilities, that feels more normal to sell. I see it. You see it in crypto all the time. Oh, got my airdrop. Got to sell, cash out. And you see the price tank. That didn't happen yesterday. Price went up. People bought. They were happy. They're starting to get trust. And the network will grow more decentralized. So now it's time to build. It's time to build things. Startup companies, developers, keep building. This thing is super exciting. I love the community and the project. So more to come on this, along with another Rich List update coming soon. I'll be curious to see those numbers. I'll do that on uh, April 1st. And no, it won't be an April Fool's joke. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this video finds you well, and I'll see you in the next one.